Here we go. We on Hay Street, man. So Deshaun Watson tears his Achilles heel uh, out for the season, as they're reporting right now. He gets booed by his own fan base. Uh, we already know what he went through, kind of what James Winston was talking about. Uh, went through with the whole ordeal. Uh, I'll just say with the scandal. You can go research yourself if you lost. Uh, but end up getting a huge deal to go to the Bronco. I mean, to the uh, uh, Brown. Excuse me. Huge. And not we not wasn't playing that well. And so he gets booed. Now, here's my question, Street. Before we get into the main topic here, mm-hmm. do fans go too far? Yeah, gone too far, Brad. Do fans go too far? Mm-hmm. No. No. Okay. All right. Why why don't you think they go too far? I mean, a man is down there hurt. Season is done. I mean, you booing a dude. Some people was even clapping that he was hurt. We've seen people burn jerseys. We've seen people have death threats for fans. We see fans getting in fights and stand. I, I don't understand how people get so emotionally invested into sport where it takes it to that level. We saw the young man from, uh, uh, well, I don't know, young man, but the dude, you actually did a, a, a thing on him. A man from the Ravens punching cats. Like, and you say no? I want to hear this one. Y'all want the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. You <laughs> so can't the- handle the truth. <laughs> LV, before you start, B, LV. Ninjas get booed every day, B. Five minutes right here, LMV. I'm tired of it. You got five minutes in the corner. I'm done with you, LMV. Shout out to LMV, MVP, the producer in the building. Talk to you. You want the truth? You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. We're from a society, bro, that likes to watch train wrecks. Mm -hmm. We once gather in coliseums to watch people die. And cheered. AKA football field stadiums now. <laughs> we, we, so, so if you want the truth, we're a society that likes to watch train wrecks. Mm-hmm. People go watch bullfighting, bull runs. And you, when you go watch bullfighting, you ain't going, they're not going in there to make sure we hope everybody beat the bull today. That's fair. That's fair. So in that arena, if we want to be honest, we're there to watch a train wreck. We dare to watch a wide receiver come across the middle and get his helmet taken off. Okay. So, so if that's what the energy is in that arena, I think Deshaun Watson understands it. You know what I'm saying? And and I think that we gotta be we gotta we, as a society we gotta be honest with ourselves, bro. We have to be. Look what we look what we got look what we got down here in the background. A train wreck, a straight train wreck. <laughs> a train wreck. Yeah, on collision. But but to your point, Street, I I agree with you ten thousand percent. But uh-huh. I think it's different when you boo your team. Like yes, we want to <laughs> see. Like, that's the only di- That's what I'm saying. So I, yes, I I clearly get what you're saying. We want to see somebody get decapitated. We want to see the no. quarterback get on his neck. But when no, you're only that's saying, I hope we lose all the rest of our games so we can fire Manny Diaz. That's the fan. That's the fan that is the way the way out there. Manny every day says they hope they lose all their games so they could get Cam Ward and Daniel Jones could go. Scam. Hold up. <laughs> The Dolphins talking about we're going to scam for Cam. <laughs> I call that phrase, by the way. Scam for Cam. You know how they say suck so, for luck? Scam so for also, Cam. That's also a fan. That's also a fan. I get it, Street, but I, okay, here's my thing. And, 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 shout out to, and shout out to Mr. Prime. They think Deshaun Watson being hurt is the answer to them playing better. Now, do I agree with it? Now, I'm just the real with y'all. The no. truth, you can't handle the truth. Do I agree with it? No. I don't agree with it. That's, but, that's but, okay. Those are people that are that they 
in that moment, they're about the emotional the about the Browns as they are about their kids. Bro, somebody just threw a box, dog. Somebody just <laughs> threw a box. I just saw, hey, they don't like our take. You know they're watching us live right there. They didn't like what we said, and somebody just threw a box out the window. <laughs> um, Here's what I'm going to say. Somebody go, go pick up that box, and I mean right now, and I ain't playing with you. <laughs> pick up that box, man. But anyway, um, I guess my point is this point where uh, you got to have some moral. Shout out to Mr. Prime for what he said. Some humanity. Like, and how easily we forget when people get somebody, we happy for them. Oh, he's going to be the best. Man, every recruit we get going to be the next Devin Hester, the next uh, Duke Johnson, the next this. And when they don't do it right now, unfortunately, man, for my cane, dog, why are they throwing stuff on our block? Bro? <laughs> they literally just throwing trash, bro. But anyway, you see that? He's just throwing trash out here, bro. But anyway, um, I guess my point, I guess my whole point is, is these people are human beings at the end of the day. Yeah, they make a bunch of money for what they do, so forth yeah. and so on. But we're talking about a violent sport. Nobody cares that these people are human. But here's my question. That's why I told people, the next time y'all call a player trash, this I'm going to come to your daughter piano recital and boo her ass. I'm going to show you what it feels like. When she up there, daddy, watch this. I'm messing up, daddy. I'm going to be over there. Boo! Boo! And see what that, it's like. That, that's, that's when they understand. As we emotional people, they'll understand that. Yeah. They'll fight it in. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. like that rough well, reading. I'm sorry. Go, 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 go. Lawrence is, is, is running all over Miami, right? And you hoping somebody knock him. Man, I hope somebody knock him out the game. Raise your hand in. Raise your hand in the comment section if you never hope that Trevor Lawrence got knocked out the game. <laughs> but we didn't want the man. Yeah. The Papa you know that somebody was killing you, you say, man, I hope they knock him out the game. I can agree with that, but I don't you think don't care how it happened. You just want him out. <laughs> His hand will fall off. His hand will fall off. You'll be like, well, I hope they fix that. But <laughs> okay. shout out to Don Royal in the building. They didn't boo. They didn't big. I guess boo Big Ben when he was a real was a real pervert. I don't, I'm not sure what he's saying there, but we don't boo the unthinkable. We don't boo like when Ben Roethlisberger comes back out there. <laughs> we don't boo Brett Favre for stealing money. No, we don't boo. We boo people because they don't play right. All right. Like the things. I, it's just amazing the human mind and the things that we, I guess, are willing to fight for is crazy. Like this dude you said from the Ravens, walking around trying to knock people out <laughs> with a Lamar Jackson jersey on, and Lamar don't even know who this dude is. But I'm that invested. But we don't boo the politicians right here in Philadelphia. They got these people out here starving and hungry. Look, told you. <laughs> Never Trevor Lawrence, but I. <laughs> but every time I home play Baltimore, I pray. Hey, just pray for the man. Just pray for the man to get a, a hangnail or I something. Told you. Hey, I, and, and you're right. There's nothing wrong. I get what you're saying. I mean, what you're saying is 100 percent true. We don't. But, we, we don't want to admit it. That that we that. They don't want. We don't want to admit it. And that we. Now his. I'm gonna tell you a story. I was in North Carolina one time, right? Okay. And my homeboy called me. Was like, man, I was in the studio with Trick, Trick Day last night. He said, man, we went to the Northwestern game the other day, bro. He said, man, and I saw one of the most disrespectful things happen ever, bro. He said, Najee Davenport was running all over Northwestern, mm -hmm. and then he got hurt. He said, Northwestern whole entire sideline stands 
stood up and started clapping. And he's high school. That's somebody's child. That is somebody's child. That is a kid. Nobody, we don't care, dog. Off to this head. day, I joke with Najee about that. To this day, me and Najee, I joke with him about that. He said, Coach gave him some high tops. He went on the sideline and slaced the high tops up and got right back in there and went to work on them. And went to work. My, my, my homeboy told me the story like it bothered him. He was like, bro, they stood up and started clapping. That was the most disrespectful show I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I'll say this. When you jump in the public light, <laughs> you got to be prepared. Remember when we had the, uh, we had really flawed on here and she was talking about, you know, coming on and getting inappropriate pictures and all that stuff. And we mm-hmm. was like, listen, it come with the territory. Like when you walk in here, everybody ain't going to like you. People going to do whatever. And one thing about it, they could hide behind the keyboard. That's the thing about the internet, the gift and the curse. They could be whoever they want to be. Some old freak dude. They'd be some old freak dude, but they ain't going to condemn P Diddy. At the same time, how dare people yeah. do these things? And this is like a computer full of stuff. I'm just saying, you could, be, you could be whoever you want to be. So, you know, to that point, man, it's just crazy how the human mind works. Like, like you say, we will boo someone when it comes to sports and it's, entertainment. It's not their mind. That's what I have learned. It's the it's emotions. I've always thought we made decisions with our minds. It's emotions. Mm. It's, it's, it's the emotions. It's so it's, it's when your emotions is tied into something, you're not thinking rational. That's how I verbalize it. Mm-hmm. Somebody say something about your mama, you're going to go to jail behind it. True. Their football team, You people are so emotional about their football team that they'll say something like, Kaylin DeBoer, oh man, Kaylin DeBoer, oh god, he get fired at Alabama. I told y'all it wasn't gonna work. They said this for the first season. Lance Gidry, they ready to fly the plane, and he was the answer, <laughs> bro. It was all good just a week ago, and now Lance Gidry, they talking about fly the plane, start a GoFundMe, get this dude out of here. Um, it's emotions, Hayes. When 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 his emotions attached to it, you don't really think. Like you, you don't really think straight. That's true. That's fair. That, that's a fair. As statement. soon as somebody do the same thing to your child, you know, example I always used to give. When Donna Foy was there as a as a as a as a defensive coordinator, Donna Foy was at Miami as a defensive coordinator, and Kane fans will be like, get mad when when four stars and five stars don't choose us, and be like, man, maybe he could come turn it around, right? Mm-hmm. Say. If your son was the number one player in the nation, you a Kane fan, would you see him to play for D'Onofrio right now? And then all of a sudden, they become smart again. Hell no. <laughs> like, 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 how did that, like, what was that? So you want somebody else's kid to suffer. <laughs> it's the emotion. Kid to suffer. It, it's emotion. It's emotion. It's, it's emotion. It's, it's it's when you start emotionally being attached to something. Sometimes you 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 you, you give it answers, and think about it. Women walk around like this all day long. This they only device. That's all they got. What you mean? Please explain. Emotional just just making emotional decisions. Oh, Ask about their homegirl. Oh, my homegirl look good, man. That is a rhinoceros. <laughs> but because it's their homegirl. They can't see it, nor can they say it, because that's they, they like their homegirl. Until it's not their homegirl. And then she everything but a child Then she a rhinoceros. A Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex. Breath smelling like train smoke. Yeah. It's emotion, dog. When you're emotionally attached to something, be careful about making decisions. You don't want to holler at her street. She got more miles than the F-150. Trust me, I know. When it's a homegirl... She it ain't that bad. She used to be like that. <laughs> she ain't that bad. Hey, that was a long time ago. <laughs> gave her life to Christ. Stop. That's and listen, and I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not I'm not listen. 
We all are susceptible to it, Hayes. Of course. We all sometimes get caught up in it if you're not paying attention. I guess I guess my question is okay, I can understand the emotional tie to personal things in regards to family, you know, friends, so but to sports, dog, where you see these people be crashing out, they ripping the TV off the wall, they punching the wall, they drowning the goldfish, like bruh. Bro, it's like, how are y'all crashing out? Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. You want to see me crash out? <laughs> you want to see me crash out? Straight crash dummy. Guess what's going to have to happen with Miami? Guess what? You, you already know what it is, dog. Can't you already, get no. We lose to one particular team. Florida State? No. We better not lose to Duke. Oh, I'm getting fired up. If we lose to Duke, I'm going to lose my ish. And really, it's not even about this. Yeah. See, y'all, I thank y'all. I know y'all been following. Look, shout out to NASA, Duke, Duke, Duke. Man, see, these are real, these are real folks in the building, man. My thing is, bro, but I ain't going to crash out that bad. Now, if you don't see me on, on the after, go check the docket on Monday, dog. I might be up, I might be up for arraignment. But, uh, I mean, I get it. I just think it is. It's all bad, bro. It's it's all bad when I think a lot of people forget these people. These people are people, and all they see is these numbers, and that's basically what you are: employee number eight, employee number fifteen, employee number thirty-six, whatever yeah. your number is. Uh, and that's I don't, I don't, yeah. Point. No, I don't think it's personal. Like, okay. Patrick Day, Duke Johnson at Florida. Dog, you was hoping that Duke got hurt at Florida State. And he did get hurt. Remember, he had 100 yards in the first half. <laughs> and then he, he got hurt. Yeah. You were hoping my dog get hurt, Patrick. No, I think he was probably talking about how people was cheering maybe at, at when Duke was at the Florida State game that year, meaning. He was probably saying people were praying for his downfall because he was balling. So they were like, oh, oh no, nah, he got it. Maybe that's what Patrick is saying. I think that's what he may be saying. I think Yo, I'm gonna give you an example, and mm-hmm. we can get into the show. <laughs> you, you you know people talk trash about kids in college football and stuff, right? I threw an ashtray and busted the TV screen, and them huskies punch. Husky ass you, are new, <laughs> you are new to us back in the day. That man said the ashtray. I ain't seen an ashtray in 30 years, so you know that's back. It probably one of the big glass ones too, huh? Everybody had the middle <laughs> of the coffee table. But go ahead. I forgot what I was going to say. You said calling kids trash back and so forth. Okay, so you know, yeah, call it. Fans call college kids trash, and sometimes you be like, "Man, you're a kid." A kicker miss a kick, and and they they yelling at them and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? But as soon as that fan meet the kid, oh man, I bumped into Blase Blase at the grocery store with the homeboy. They're such nice kids, man. Man, you know what I ain't gonna dog. They suck, they suck. I say, and I'd be like, bro, what did you think they were? What do you thought they were? Tesla robots or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh man, I ain't gonna talk about them no more. No, oh, man. I they, they, now they feel bad because, bro, they're kids. Like man, as soon as they miss the next kick, man, get that trash <laughs> out here. As soon as they meet them, dog, they realize that they're kids. And your grown ass is up here talking about <laughs> you trash as he walked through the through the hall, through the goddamn tunnel. Yeah, I mean, street. There's nothing. I don't think it's gonna ever stop. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I get it, man. 